Hi and welcome to the video series on domaining. Domaining is all about buying and selling domain names. So in this particular video series, you're going to learn, you know, what kind of research you need to do before you buy the domain name, what tools you're going to need, and how you're going to flip it and then of course sell it. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now before I actually move on to talk about what kind of tools that you need, I want to give you an overview of the whole video series. As you can see here, we've got seven videos. This video is video number one. It's the introduction to domaining. And video two is about avoid what you need to avoid doing. So avoid doing the following. I'm going to give you a list of things that you need to avoid doing and once you understand these things, then you can move on to finding profitable domain names, which is in video three. In video three, I'll show you a specific and cool tip that you can use to find profitable domain names. Most of you, if you've run an online business or you've done affiliate marketing or anything like that, then you've used this same method. If you haven't, don't worry because I'm going to actually go through it step by step. Video 4 is how to register your domain name. Once you have found profitable domain names, then what? That's video 4. Video 5 is generating passive cash. Let's say you have a profitable domain name, but you don't want to sell it right then and there. You want to generate some passive cash. Well, in video 5, I show you just how to do that. Video 6 is all, all about flipping your domain name. If you've gone through the process of you know, researching you know, different things from video 3 and 4 or 5, you've done your research so far, you found that the domain name is profitable. If that is the case, then you can make it even more valuable and more profitable by flipping your domain name and I'm going to show you that in video 6 not hard to do very very easy to do in fact it's just all about setting up a squeeze page and basically driving traffic to that domain name sort of like flipping a website but you're flipping a domain name and making it more valuable because sometimes people will look at not just the domain name the name but they also look at the value of the name so we're kind of diving a little bit into website flipping but not necessarily just a little bit and of course in video 7 let's say that you flip your domain name you got traffic going to it or let's say you skip that step and you still have you know, people searching for that domain name then you can sell the domain name that's in video 7 I show you steps on how to sell your domain name where to sell your domain name who can you approach and different little tips and advice on that so now that you understand what the video series is all about I can continue on right now with the introduction to domaining what I want to talk about is what you're going to need before you get started well of course you're gonna need the internet you're gonna need your brain because a lot of what we're gonna do is that you're going to need at least $40 for web hosting and domain registration. At least. The more the better. Because remember, you're buying domain names. And domain names don't cost that much. They cost, you know, $7 here, $8, $9 per year. So we're not talking about a lot of money here. Um, web hosting is optional if you do video 6. If you decide to set up a squeeze page, drive traffic to your domain name, then you'll, you're going to need web hosting. But if you don't do that, you don't need web hosting. And I'm going to show you in just a minute where you can find web hosting for fairly cheap. And we're talking about you know, $10, $20 a year. We're not talking about $5, $10, $20 dollars a month. What I'm trying to do here is save you money, but at the same time, get you profitable domain names. Or get you to that point to understanding you know how to find profitable domain names and of course we're going to need other tools like you know keyword tools and things like that but they're all free they're just the internet and they're just websites so 
let me go ahead and show you some web hosting and places you can get cheap and reliable web hosting. All right, so what I'm going to do now is look for web hosting. If you don't know what web hosting is, it's basically the server that holds your files. For example, right now I'm at google.com, right? Google.com is a domain name. Web hosting is basically the server that hosts and that holds all these images and things like that. So in order to see the website, you're going to need a web host. And of course, you're going to need a domain name that points to a web host. A lot of times I give people analogies. And if you don't understand what, what web hosting is, think of a house. You've got an address, right? Address is like the domain name. The address points to a specific house. The house is like web hosting, right? You fill the house up with furniture and things like that, like images, windows, flowers, you know, things like that. So the house is web hosting. If the house is not there, if you don't put anything in the house, it's going to be an empty house. So as you can see, you're going to need web hosting. Now, where do you find web hosting? A lot of domain registrars will provide you with web hosting for cheap, but I don't recommend that you actually do that just because that's not their focus. I would recommend sites like HostGator.com. Go to HostGator.com. And you'll notice that there are cheap plans, like $4 a year. And you can also view web hosting plans. Um, if you're just getting started, you're probably going to need a reseller account. Um, but it's not that expensive. And another place to go, if you, if you like to go shop around and you want a good deal, you can also go to a place called Web Hosting Talk. And this is a form, it's webhostingtalk.com. But here's the thing, they also provide you with shared hosting offers. What you're looking for is a reseller account. And I'm pointing you to a form specifically because a lot of people, a lot of businesses go here because that's where they advertise all these deals. Sometimes you can get deals for like $9 a year or six dollars a year now that sounds insanely cheap right but here's the thing people go here and they compete against each other's web hosters you know they compete so much that it drives the the price down a lot further so you're dealing with like a dollar 75 a month which is less than twelve dollars you know, twelve fifteen dollars and sometimes you can find nine dollars a year and I used to be in the web hosting industry and I when I got started I remember selling web hosting for you know nine ninety nine a year. It wasn't a lot of money, but you know, you gotta penetrate the market, you gotta compete with all these people. So that's the reason why I'm showing you this place right here. Once you get your web hosting and your domain name, then you can set everything up. And I'm not gonna talk about that now, specifically because I wanna move on to video two. Now, if you understand all this stuff, you can go ahead and move on. And like I said, you're, we're going to use the internet. We're going to use a lot of different sites, a lot of free sites out there. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and move on to video two.